How to be an ambiguous person. So the first question you might be asking, what the hell does that mean? And the answer to that question is that it means that you are someone that's describing something very loosely or very vaguely. Because sometimes, because sometimes we want to paint a certain image in other individuals' minds, but we don't necessarily want to be those individuals that are hardcore, those individuals that are expressing our opinions. So by being more of an ambiguous person, you can vaguely describe and paint your perspective without really interfering in other individuals' lives. And thus, if you're someone that wants to be more of an ambiguous person, or from time to time, at least have the social skills to do so, definitely stick with me till the end. And with that said, let's get started. Number one, too much information. So if you're someone that wants to be more of an ambiguous person, try to avoid giving out too much information. Be very vague and don't be too descriptive when it comes to what you're explaining. Do it in global terms and this way you can still paint an image in someone else's head without being someone that's very vocal about it. So for example, if you say, I don't like arrogant people, what does being arrogant even mean? Because everyone has a different perspective of being arrogant. And thus, if you don't go into too much depth, you've put it out there that you're someone that doesn't appreciate if someone is a bit too arrogant. But whatever arrogant means is still vague because everyone has a different perspective to it. Some people see as being arrogant of being proud of yourself and not being afraid to show that, but other individuals see being arrogant arrogance as someone that's flexing so it all depends on the individual and thus if you are someone that wants to be more ambiguous try to be very vague with what you're saying and to do that it's very important that you don't give out a lot of information number two master your social skills so if you're someone that wants to be an ambiguous person this is one of those personality traits that's hard to obtain because you need to be someone that knows how to speak at the right time. And this comes with practice. The more you practice, the better you become. And it's very important to have enough immunization and artillery. Learn new words. Try to understand how you can play with words. Because sometimes some words have double meanings. And this way, you can play with other individuals' minds. This way, you can come across a little bit more vague while still having control. For example, if someone asks you, what were you doing yesterday? You can say, I was lying. So initially, when you say, I was lying, they are thinking that you were lying to them. And what will happen is that you provoke them emotionally. Perhaps they'll think, was he lying before? Did he lie in the past? And this way, if you emotionally provoke them a little bit, you have more control of the situation. But obviously the word lying has multiple definitions. So if they are gonna ask whether you were lying to them, you can say, no, I meant lying in my bed or something like that. And this way, by using one word with multiple definitions, you can become more of an ambiguous person. Number three. Be extremely firm. So if you're someone that wants to be more of an ambiguous person, it is very important to be extremely firm. So the next time someone asks you, what do you study? Instead of saying, yeah, I go to this university and I really love what I study. No, stop that. Just say what you do. So if someone's gonna ask you, what do you study? Just reply with economics. If they ask you, how old are you? Say 22 or whatever your age is. And this way, even though you're being extremely straight and giving them a direct answer, you're still being vague in a contextual matter because usually if someone is asking you those questions, they expect you to also initiate in the conversation. But if you don't do that, you still come across as being someone that's more of an ambiguous person. But obviously, when it comes to being an ambiguous person, I would definitely not recommend you to do this 100% of the time. Just use it here and there and have this social skill and your utility when you need to use it to get the best results. But if you overuse it, it will really harm you over the long term. People won't really enjoy talking to you. People won't really respect you that much. But if you use this in the right way, it can really help you when it comes to your social conversations. And that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope you found it informative and useful. If you did, please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please consider to hit the subscribe button and leave a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye bye.